Couples that have had trouble getting pregnant are known to have a higher risk for pregnancy complications and for children with various medical problems. Does infertility increase the risk for having a child with autism? Stay tuned. Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurodevelopmental disorder which is often diagnosed in early childhood. The origin of ASD likely involves genetic and environmental factors. There has been concern that certain conditions during pregnancy may result in a higher chance for a child being diagnosed with ASD. For example, having a cesarean delivery or a preterm birth is associated with ASD. There has also been concern that abnormalities in men and women that lead to infertility may also increase the risk for ASD. Obesity is linked to infertility. Studies have found a correlation between maternal obesity and an increased risk of ASD. It is thought that the inflammation caused by obesity can disrupt the delicate process of brain development in the fetus, leading to changes that increase the risk of ASD. Other problems linked to infertility, such as PCOS or endometriosis, also result in inflammation. According to a study conducted in Sweden, women with PCOS have a 59% increased risk of giving birth to a child with ASD. So, there is mounting evidence that certain problems that can lead to infertility can also increase the chances for ASD. But what about infertility more generally? Recently, a large study was conducted in Canada. In this study, they compared three groups. The first group, with over a million women, included only people without any fertility problems. Group two, with about 140,000 people, were those who had infertility but eventually conceived without any fertility treatment. A third group were women with infertility who conceived with fertility treatments like IUI or IVF. There were about 40,000 people in this group. But what did they find? People with infertility were more likely to have a child with ASD. In total, 2.6% of the children in this study were diagnosed with ASD. In group one, with normal fertility, 1.6% of the children were diagnosed with ASD. In group two, with infertility, 2% were diagnosed with ASD. Group 3, who also had fertility treatment, were about the same. 2% of those who received fertility medications or IUI and 1.9% of those who received IVF had ASD children. They were also able to identify in this study that known factors such as multiple pregnancy could be implicated as a risk factor for children having ASD. Multiple pregnancies are more common with the use of fertility medications and IVF. Many multiple pregnancies cannot be predicted or avoided, but with IVF, we can reduce the risk of multiple pregnancy by transferring only a single embryo at a time. Our Infertility TV bottom line is this. The underlying causes for infertility can also result in pregnancy complications and health problems in children. It seems that ASD can now be counted among those problems. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.